rally champion crop hopper turns graffiti vandal. Negative, that can't be true. You're right, Bravo. Dusty's no troublemaker. It was all a hoax orchestrated by Ripslinger. That lowlife. What'd he do this time? Time to show the world that crop dusters don't belong on the racing circuit. With a little orange paint, I'll look like Dusty. Everyone will blame him for the damage I do. Guys, isn't perfect. This plan is going to go down in flames. canisters. This paint job has to be spot on if I want my plan to work. <laughs> Got one. I think I need more paint. My disguise isn't perfect. This plan is going to go down in flames. Bingo. That should do it. Now to find myself a hideout to get painted. That warehouse I saw earlier should do the trick. If you're still the wings around the globe poster plane once they see you tagging your mug everywhere, crop hopper. I just gotta get the paint sprayer.
It's just a matter of taking a few incriminating pictures and sending them to the room. Got it. It's only a matter of time now. I need. Better get out of here before the authorities fly by. Ripslinger sent the picture to the tabloids, which jumped on the story immediately. Once more, he'd caused a lot of trouble for Dusty. Again? Why didn't anyone stop him? Yeah, these Ripslinger stories are total downers. Don't worry, Ripslinger eventually got what he deserved. Sir, do I know that plane? It looks like dusty. But something seems a bit off. <laughs> Nothing gets past you boys. You're right, that's not dusty, it's Ripslinger. What was that bully up to? And, and why was he flying under false colors? At the end of this run, every racer will think Dusty belongs in the dirt back on his farm. Ripslinger disguised himself as our pal with the intention of racing dirty. He wanted to turn the other professional racers against Dusty.
Ripslinger fled the scene. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but this is too much. Why didn't anyone stop him? Yeah, and how did you get all that intel on Rip? How did you know all of this? <laughs> okay, here's what happened. This is Dusty's hometown. Right after this picture was taken, Prop Wash Junction was in for a whole heap of trouble, courtesy of one very disgruntled plane. Rip Slinger. That's right. You ruined air racing for us real racers, farm boy. Since I'm such a swell guy, I'll return you. By ruining your town. First, I'll rip through all the billboards with Dusty's fertilizing face on them. That's what it feels like to be touched by greatness, Crop Hopper. Ah, right in the propeller. Only one face with billboard worthy awesomeness. And it ain't crop floppers. Consider your face erased, Claude Hopper. <laughs> I think I'll go for the two for one deal. I'll take out the water towers and block up the river with rubble. No water means no harvest. <laughs> Gotta grab the vortex cannon to knock over these towers. Baby will huff and puff and blow those towers down. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Slide. Gotta knock down those water towers. Yes. Well done. Ah, Yeah, I want to do that again. The next oh, yeah. The green tornado strikes again. There. <laughs> now that the river's filled with debris, it'll have to be cleaned up. That sounds like a job fit for a farm boy. 
Now to target Propwash Junction's pride and joy, its cornfields. By going full throttle through those crops, I'll turn them into chopped salad. Caught in the riptide! <laughs> Woo! Look at that corn fly! Destroy that entire field of corn? My bad. <laughs> Once I rip up those cornfields, boom, I'm out of this one track of town. That's the last cornfield. Hopefully that'll teach Dust Bucket or any other backwoods wannabe racer what happens when you try to fly out of your league. <laughs> Ripslinger flew off, leaving nothing but a debris field of corn crops, billboard scraps, and a dammed up river. What? That's it? Ripslinger got away scot-free? Couldn't anyone stop him? Don't worry. Dusty came back and righted things. And as for Ripslinger, he eventually got his comeuppance.